So we're looking at question one of the 2014, uh, semester one 2014 exam. Now by a quick, quick looking at it, it's a cash budget. So um, let's just have a quick read. As the management of accountant for Alpha Proprietary Limited, you've been asked by your manager to prepare a cash budget for the next two months. All right. you, will, you have been presented with the following information. My sales in June are this, my estimated sales for the next two months in July and August are that, and we've got some information about our collections. Based on previous experience uh, of the business, sales are expected to be 30% cash in the month of sales, 70% on credit. The credit sales are expected to be collected in 40% in the month of sale, 40% uh, in the month of sale, and the balance being collected in the following month. So, okay, so it must be 60% in the following month. The June inventory purchases are 50,000. And we've got some July and August inventory expectations. All purchases of inventory are made on credit and are paid in the month after purchase. So that's a piece of information that I need to recognise as well. It is expected that the following monthly operating expenses will be incurred, salaries, rent, depreciation, advertising and electricity. All relevant operating expenses are paid in cash in the month they are incurred. The business intends to purchase new furniture at a cost of 20000 A deposit of 20% will be required in July with the balance being paid the following month. Motor vehicle expenses are 2000 and required to be paid in August. The cash balance at the end of June is $5,000. So it's important information there for me. And then it says to me, the first thing it says, calculate the cash receipts for the months of July and August, prepare a cash budget, a dividend payment of 30000 is due to be paid by Alpha, so it looks like we're going to have to make a decision here based on some of the information. Okay, and our last question is explain the difference between top down and bottom up, a bit of a theory question. All right, so the first thing it's asked us to do is calculate the schedule of receipts from debtors for Alpha Proprietary Limited for the months of July and August. Okay, now, can I see the top of my page there? All right, so my cash receipt. So we're looking at where, how do I collect my money from my customers. Now, remember we've got some cash sales. So 30% is cash, 70% on credit. And so of that 70%, 40% in the month of the sale, balance being the month after sale. Okay, so what I need is my schedule of receipts. Too bright? You want me to dim my lights a little bit? What if I just did that? That'd be too not so bright? Okay. Okay, let's just run with that one for a second. Oh, actually. All right, maybe I just can work on some brightness here. Is that better? Okay, that's good. All right, so what we're looking at is schedule of receipts. And the information they've given us is I've got sales for June, July and August. So I'm just going to put my sales down here, which is June, July, August. June, July, August. And my June sales are 90,000. Uh, my July sales are 100,000. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? August sales is 80,000. Now I'm going to put over here, schedule of receipts. I'm going to put over here my collections. And uh, my collections work in what sort of way? I collect a certain amount which are cash sales and then a certain amount will be credit sales and okay so let's go credit sales so my credit sales in July is by 70% so it's 70% for these so 
So if I sell 70% in June, uh, or 90,000 in June, what's 90,000 by 70%? 63,000. 100,000 by 70 cent is 70,000. 70% by 80,000 is 56,000. Now my collections in July and August is what I'm looking to do now. Now if I sell it in June, I'm collecting 30% cash plus 40% of my credit sales in June. So that must mean I'm collecting 60% of my credit sales in July. So if I'm selling in July, I'll collect cash of uh, 30%, leaving me 70% credit sales. Of that credit sales, I collect 40% in the month of sale. So that must mean I'm collecting 40% in July and 60% in August. And the same with August. I collect 30%, which is my cash sale, and 40%, uh, which is my collections in August. All right, who's fast on the calculator? Who can give me 60% of what 63,000 is? How much? 37,800. 37,800, love it. What about 40% of 70,000? 28,000. So 60% of 70,000 must be 42,000. And my last one is 40% of 56,000 is how much? 22,400. So this will give me total credit sales. Which is how much? 65,800 and 64,400. Now that's my credit sales. Now we've got a cash sales as well. Schedule of receipts. My cash sales, I'm just gonna note here Now, my cash sales are 30% of my total sales. So my cash sales for July should be 30,000. And my cash sales for August is 30% as well. So my cash sales would be how much? 34,000. 24,000, that's better. So my total receipts will be 95,800 and how much is this one? It's 88,400. Is everyone okay to that point? Yeah? 